Today I will show you how you can make a simple AR display which you can attach to your glasses. I call this one the side loader. This is the very basic tethered version. I'm also working on the all-in-one variant. The other one features Raspberry Pi Zero. All of the parts had been printed using anthracite PLA. I've enabled rafts for better dimensional accuracy on the bottom. This will make sure that all of the parts fit together nicely. It takes a little time to remove the supports, but it's worth it. I've enabled supports everywhere, but disabled them inside the flat cable tunnel. It won't be impossible to get them out of there. Smaller support material can be easily removed using scalpel. Remember not to cut yourself. I cut myself all the time so you don't have to. Remember to check if there is any support material left. Not removed excess material can and will damage your screen. The electronics housing uses supports enabled to bed only. If you enable them to everywhere, then you will have some material which can be removed. Make sure to remove the supports completely, as this is the part which will attach to your glasses. It should be pretty smooth after removing excess material. There may be some spaghetti under this bridge. Remove it carefully using scalpel. It should look more or less like this. I will be using simple stereo jacks to connect the display controller with HDMI cable. This way I can detach the cable whenever I want. You could of course use this port to connect any other video source like Raspberry Pi or console. Just make sure not to use off-the-shelf audio wires. I've bent all of the jack pins so that it will fit inside my plastic enclosure. I've made it as small as possible so it's pretty tight inside. I will use thin Kenner wires to connect the jack with PCB. Here is my display driver board. It has its pins damaged, so I will use the alternative solder points. You should use the original pins if you have the means to do so. There may be issues like degraded image quality when using alternative connections. Remember not to overheat the jack pins, those will break off if you hit them too much.
I'm doing connections as short as possible to avoid unnecessary mess inside the plastic housing. Here you can see the completed wiring. I'm still using the same display which I've used for my Onyx classes. I've bought additional longer flat cable which works better with my devices. You can find them both on AliExpress. Put the flat cable gently into the tunnel inside the plastic gasket. Now you can push the display inside. The magnifying glass comes with the display, just push it inside the plastic part. You can push the flat cable into the connector, there is no need to open the latch. I've made a new plastic housing which will hide the flat cable as well. As you can see the flat cable can be fully hidden inside the plastic piece.
The side loader uses the same plastic combiner as the Onyx glasses. If you already have the Onyx glasses, you can take it out and use it with side loader. Gently push the combiner inside the plastic holder. If done correctly, you should be able to see the magnifying glass reflection. I've designed a simple one-piece plastic cover which will hide all of the electronics. You can glue it to the plastic case or use soldering iron. There's also a separate cover for the display. It will make sure that the display won't fall out. To test out my design, I will use the viewing glasses frame. You can use any other glasses that you have. Glasses holder is designed to be as universal as possible. You can adjust the image path by sliding the glasses up and down. This is the glasses locker. It will lock the glasses to the plastic housing. Locker is a separate piece, so you can design your own if mine won't work with your glasses. Locker holds the glasses really well and makes sure that the display stays in correct position. Overall, I'm satisfied with this design. It's a huge improvement over the previous one. It's pretty comfortable to wear and doesn't cause eye strain. I will post some through the lens videos as shorts so we can see how it performs. Thanks for watching everyone and see you soon.